is not wearing a uniform. He's not playing today. That's the leading scorer on this team. Also the third leading scorer in the Atlantic 10. If you were watching yesterday, late in the game against George Mason, he tweaked a lower body, body injury that kept him out for five games in the regular season. He is not going to play today. And he didn't have a whole lot of help. He being Ohams in terms of offensive firepower around him yesterday anyway, even with Quisenberry in the lineup. Paul, to put it in perspective, in January these teams played. Quisenberry scored 36 of the team's 66 points. They will be better defensively without him, but they will miss his points because they struggle in that area. Got Rose didn't score yesterday, and you can change that after he scores the first bucket of the game. Also the top scorer on this team at 17 points per after three seasons at Michigan State, never more than four a game. Well, that is a pretty shot from young June Lee, his first of the day. And here comes Grant Huffman. Rykovich has become a much better three-point shooter this season. You can't leave Lee open like that. Young Jun Lee, 48% from threes the last six games. Kavitsky, the main reason they're staying in this one. First time Foster Lawyer has connected from distance. Just like that, the Wildcats lead by five. Nowitzki leads the way for Fordham with 11, has the ball inside once again. Double team, though. Nice defense there from Michael Jones to come in. Nowitzki for three. Boy, he is feeling it. 14 points already. Out of the timeout, what's the adjustment? You double team him, make him a passer, but don't leave him at the three-point line. The guy is on fire. Well, that was actually two. He had the, had the toes there. This is where Foster Lawyer is really dangerous coming off screens. Well, that's a tough runner in the lane with one hand, Michael Jones. The floater gets it to go, and Davidson now largest lead inside of 10 seconds at 16. Davitsky has it blocked by Meninga, can't put it back in. And the top seeded Wildcats got stronger as that first half got longer. Fordham hung around for a while, but the halftime has arrived. And you can't look too far back for St. Bonaventure because they had the same guy for four there. years. Oh my goodness. That counts. Wow. Pretty good place to start there. Lee left open, just the runner, and such a, a smooth, confident game, and he has so many ways to put it in the basket. And then go already in double figures. Huffman hit a pair of these in the first half. Now has one in the second. Biggest lead of the afternoon for the top seed at Davidson Wildcats. Another L. Very well done. Colon Navarro. And prior to that three, Tim, they had been one out of 20. So now it's two out of 21 for distance or from distance. Nice defense there from Charlton. Davitsky hit one three in the first half. And has one in the second. What a game he's had. 16 points now. And Fordham after a pair of wins, and that's all last year, will end the year at 500. Big accomplishment for Cal Neptune. 16 and 16, that's how their season closes. And Bob McKillop, as expected, number one seed, they will move into the semifinals.